All right, we're going to continue on with our V-twin overhaul here at Western Iowa Tech in our Power Sports program. We're getting ready to install one of these lifters, okay? Now, the we're going to kind of set things up here loose for purposes of the video. And then before we actually put our push rods in, though, we're going to need to put this cam cover on here because that's what's going to, if we had the push rods fully assembled, this is going to put so much pressure downwards on this, it's going to be hard to put the cover on again in, into its bushing. But for purposes right now, the service manual would more than likely tell us to put our cam cover on, to button things up, and, to, and then to move forward. But I want you guys to be able to see inside what's going on. So we said here that we had a gasket that we're trying to not get that hole to be covered up. So per the service menu here, we've already cleaned this. We've got our old gasket material and everything off of this. We're going to go ahead and set this baby on here. We're going to get this in place. And we're basically just, what I want you guys to be able to see is listen, and listen here. You hear that? So this thing wants to move around us a little bit. Where's our bolts for this? Right here? Thank you. You got your quarter 20 ready? On an extension, you guys are rock stars here. The manual tells you to take this tapered alignment tool. This is what this is for. And they're going to tell us to put it in a specific spot or location. Find a socket for that. I think it's a quarter. It's not a 20. And we're going to follow the directions in the manual there. Get to that point, and I believe they tell us a specific spot to actually put this in. Somebody will look that up. But you get the idea here. We're going to line that up. I like to use two of these, one on each side, so that I can uh, um, pull that taper down to give it the best adjustment. Then we take our other two, and we just snug them. And then we take out our alignment tools and put our other bolts in. Does that make sense? So we're going to look that up real quick, and uh, we'll come back to this. Pause. All right, we've went ahead and double checked with the service manual. What they want us to do is use the hole, the, the bolt hole closest to that lifter feed hole, and that's where we're going to put this alignment tool in. So now we've kind of just mocked everything up and set it up nice. We're going to install our lifters actually in the bore, so you're going to get lots of assembly loop, and we have a front intake one here. Now let's reposition the lifter, hold the gasket there so it doesn't fall. You gotta flip it around for your oil hole, don't you? Yep. Okay. And since we have a front intake, we want we know that the intake direction is right here, so this is for that bore. Now one thing that we try to do, it doesn't matter, it's not anywhere in the manual, but you can see this lift hole. Or not, excuse me, not lift hole, lifter hole, and you see the relationship to the wheel, the holes inside this body are sideways here. So we could put this in either direction, but if we think about how it's fed, we want to get oil in here as fast as possible. So we have oil that comes here, feeds this hole, then goes through here, goes around here, and then goes to the next lifter. If we put it this way, I know this is really minimal and really minor, but the oil would have to go around this, then fill it and go through. So what we want to do is install it in this fashion to uh, feed it as fast as possible. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Okay. That from the bottom. Okay, now hold that with your thumb. You got to do the other one here. Same thing. Now, uh, why don't you guys get a couple magnets, and we'll show that trick on the video as well. You guys get, got a couple of your expanding magnets? Big magnet or small magnet? Small. Okay. Can I grab that and help you out here? This. We got kind of a fumbling mess here, don't we? And this is hard when we're videotaping or whatnot. So what I want you guys to do is go ahead and grab your magnet, grab two of them. Now, Charles, you're going to go ahead and hold those. Now we're going to work together here. Let go, Lionel. Actually, and that one's so tall, you got to get it out of the way there. All the way down. Okay, we need some room to work here. Okay. Okay, you can take your magnets off. Okay. Now we're in place. Now what I want to do here in the video, especially for you guys as you rewatch these, is you can see, can you get inside here and you can see how where that rides? 
okay? So we're also, we're setting everything in here to set it in the best possible place. Do you see how that's clearanced for the cam gear? And that's that same thing I was talking back on that washer in the back. But that's a nice way to have it where it doesn't drop down in place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our lifter alignment bolt back here. And we'll set this up. We're going to get the other uh, fasteners in here, so give us a second to come back. Ready? All right, guys, we're back in place here. I'm going to rotate this in so you can see our lifter alignment tool. So now that we're everything's just starting to get snug down here, we're going to get just where we just start to kiss it. Get this back one, too. Now, this back one's being hard. So what's that tell us about our alignment? It's off. It's off a little. So I need to loosen these all back up just a hair. Or it tells us old Loctite or something was in that bore or something. And we need to, we need to clear that out. It could have mean that there was Loctite left on the threads of this. Yeah. Or is there plenty of grease on, or oil and grease on here? This thing's turning fine. It's probably just slipping on my hand here. So before I just go and crank this down, so am I getting a false torque right now since this one's a little bit harder to turn? Yep. It is. So it freed up completely right here. We kind of wiggle this around. And what they said to do was to tighten this one first. So I need a 3 h drive wrench. Ratchet. Where's your 3 h drive? Get me a 3 8 socket here. So. Why do you think it's better to be working on quarter drive uh, tools right here? So you don't strip something. Do you think it's going to be easy enough on this? Taking this big wrench, we're going to see if we have cylinder clearance here. I don't even have cylinder fin clearance. So I want to switch this. We're going to, we're going to switch this back to quarter inch tools so that we have more appropriate clearance. There you go. Go again. Okay. All right. See how we're a lot better off by using an appropriate size tool. So I'm not welding this down. I'm just getting it snugged here. I can switch back to my quarter 20s here. Life is good. Get this in place. Okay. Now we want to torque these uh, to 9 to 12 foot pounds. And then we're going to take our special tool out, put our last bolt in, torque it, and we're going to be in place and ready to continue on. I'm going to let these guys get caught up on their motors at this point, but I want to make one special point about this motor. You guys on, the, on YouTube might have been noticing this uh, extra silicone and whatnot that's on here. What this is is a chrome accessory cover. This was basically a cheaper way to do this versus buying a polished tap it or block. I'm not a big fan of chrome covers like this um, because when you have this cheaper thin uh, material like this, it's real common for them to want to vibrate or dance around and then eventually end up cracking. But, you know, it is what it is. There's plenty of our customers using these accessories. And honestly, all they're held on by is silicone. Now, I don't necessarily always take this old silicone off because what this has done so far is kind of created like a vibration dampener. Does that make sense? So we would take this, would take some new spots, smear some silicone around here, get this in place. This has to go on now before we start putting our push rod components together. Uh, I just want to make a point of that accessory there. We'll get caught up. We'll get to this point, and then we'll come back uh, to a, our next video is going to be on how to actually put the push rods in uh, appropriately and our rocker boxes.